This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In Microsoft, there's a location that you need to know not only for Project 2010, but for every Microsoft product that you ever use, and that's the options. And the reason that you want to know about the options is because they give you control over your work environment. So let's go take a look in Project where you'll find these. And just as an FYI for you, it's the same in any other Microsoft application that you use. You'll find them in the exact same location. Now the options are a little bit different, but how you get there is the same. And I totally recommend you check this out in everything that you use in your daily work world you'll work a lot faster. Let's go back into our project and take a look at how to find the options. So whatever project you're in, and even if a project isn't open yet, you'll have the file menu available for you. And down here toward the bottom, don't click on exit, we don't accidentally want to leave project, we have the options. It used to be in tools. If you've used Microsoft for a long time, it was always in tools before. They've moved it to the file menu and they've placed it here at the bottom in options. And when you click on file, and then you click on options, what you're going to get is the dialog box for all of the options in the application that you're in. So top left hand corner, it tells me that I'm in my project options. Now folks, here's what you'll discover. Some things in the options are for the entire application. Some things are for exactly what you're viewing at the time. Some things are just for the one project or the one item that you currently have open. So as you're working with your project options, you'll discover how these are set and what they actually apply to. And sometimes they tell you completely and specifically, this is only for this table, or this is only for this Gantt chart, or this is only for whatever it is you might be looking at. So just be aware that it will oftentimes tell you, but not 100%. And then down the left column, you have all of the different choices for what it is you'd like to change or work with. Now in the first lesson in this section, we talked about customizing the ribbon and customizing the quick access toolbar. So you've seen this before, if you were with me in that lesson, and that's the same thing that we saw there. But you also have your general options. You have your display options, and all I want you to notice here is the screen changes as I change the option. We don't have time to look through all of these today, but let's look at a few that I think that you'll utilize and that would be important for you. First of all, on the general project options, you have the color scheme that you can choose from. I tend to leave the default there only because I'm used to it, but you might discover that you like one of the other options a little bit better. Now the screen tips, sometimes people don't like the screen tips. They're those little pop-up dialog boxes that pop up on the screen, and if you don't like that, you can turn those off. Personally, I think that they're useful because they often teach me things that I didn't know. Now, after a while, you know what the screen tip's going to say, and you just ignore it. But I totally recommend leaving those on. But people have asked me, oh, Sherry, how do I get rid of it? It's driving me crazy. So there you go. That's how you get rid of it if you want to. When you open Project, <clears throat> excuse me, when you open Project, the default view is the Gantt with the timeline because that's what it's set to. But look at these choices. You can change your default view to be anything that you'd like in this list. And also, the date format. Whatever you would like the date to be formatted as, you're welcome to make those changes in here. I'm going to go ahead and make a change here so that you can see what it looks like when I made the change. And instead of having the entire date, what I decided that I want to have here is just the month and the day. So we'll change the date format a little bit. And then this is who you are and the initials. And each one of these tabs, as you go through, excuse me, they're not really tabs, but they're sections of the project. As you go through here, you will discover areas that you may want to make some changes. Now, others you'll look at and you'll think, why would I ever want to change that? And you won't, but there are some that you will want to make changes in. For instance, the symbol for the currency, where you place it. Right now, the dollar sign will be right next to the number one or any number, but you see how you can add space in there or change the order. So there are a lot of choices you can make in here. There are scheduling choices that you can make. You can identify how your calendar behaves. By default, the calendar week starts on Sunday. Maybe you prefer to have it start on Monday. 
The fiscal year by default is January. Bankers, are, well, bankers are eight to four, aren't they? So we have eight to five here. You can come into any of these project options and make changes that will work in your world, that work for your project. Now you can change these at any time. You can change them in the middle of the project, at the beginning of the project, whatever you would like to do. Just remember that most of these changes affect every project from this point forward. Now, some of them, remember, are only this project, this time, right now, and you'll discover that as you work with project. So a few things that I would recommend. When you're new to project, come into the project options, look at what's here. When you're new to it, though, folks, you may not know what features you want on and what you want off because you haven't used the software enough. But as you use the software more and you get comfortable with it, come back and visit. Remember, it's in File, and then at the bottom you go to Options, and come back in and visit, visit the project options so you can make project do exactly what you want it to do and when you want it to happen. Once you've made changes, you simply say OK. And then those changes will either be applied immediately or, again, based on what they are. They might be your startup options. You'll see them the next time you start project. But the change I made is I simply asked the dates to show the date and not the year. So now I have the day and the year is no longer visible or available for me, just because I'm, I'm interested in that. Now, if you have a project that spans multiple years, I certainly don't recommend turning off the year. But if you have a project within the same year, gosh, sometimes this is a space saver and a little bit easier for you. Whatever works for you, though, go check it out. File, options, and go make those changes that make project work just the way you want it to.